everybody, this is uh, Ryan here again. Um, just put a uh, knock sensor on the truck and when I was underneath there, I kind of noticed another little problem. Uh, probably figured they would take care of here and uh, I'm going to show you all what that is. And uh, I said something else to look out for when uh, you're underneath the truck or something like that. So I'll go ahead and show it to you here. So I have this little weed burner exhaust tip here on the back and, uh, and you see that there's no way that's tightening up as soon as I put a wrench or a ratchet that's just gonna snap off but uh, what concerned me is uh it's actually broken loose here and uh I don't want this whole thing falling off and flying down the road because my luck it'd take out that airline or go underneath a tire or possibly hit a car's windshield or something so uh went over to a uh home depot uh, out of here but uh went over and found this uh it's perforated angle and i got some uh, angle and uh, i went and measured this so i'm going to cut a piece that that other uh this piece here yeah this I'm just gonna cut that off and uh, put this over top then uh, use this angle to go vertical and get it tightened back up so that way it doesn't fall off and uh, once I get back home um, I can get a new one new tip for that because uh, I asked Kenworth about it before and I guess they've done an update and it's a different system but uh, here's what I got I went and got this I got like 20 bucks in this a ratchet up the sockets and um, I keep an angle grinder in the truck um, a lot of people don't but it comes in a lot of uses uh, I was a couple of them but not limited to uh, if you got to cut a high security seal off uh, someplace and nobody's got bolt cutters or um, <laughs> if uh, somebody puts a boot on your truck on the front tire uh, you can cut that little compartment off and you can take that off if you get one of these overzealous to uh, towing companies that uh, think they're going to charge you six or eight thousand dollars for parking at walmart which i've heard about um that can combat that too but um anyways i'm going to go ahead and uh i'm going to cut this put it down there then cut the old uh holder off whatever you want to call it and then, um cut some angle and go ahead and tighten this thing back up and uh be ready to get back on the road to, uh, here tomorrow here I think I can probably just break these off Thank you. 
Okay, so I got the uh, that piece that I cut up here, and um, I got a piece of all thread here, and don't have to be too precise, but uh, just gonna set that about there and there, then just uh, just kind of mark it with my hand, and then take it back up top and cut two of them the same length, and then um, then we'll bring it back down and put the nuts on it and tighten it back up. So just you know, just through there. Pretty simple. Okay, so I just put this side in. And, um, I'm gonna go put the other side on, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and tighten everything up. We should be good to go. Alright, I uh, got that all tightened up. Uh, nice and solid for the most part and um, I think that at least get us back to Ohio here and uh, we'll get it fixed then we'll put a new tip on it uh, I don't know, seem, I don't know. It'd be nice to weld that up but uh, ain't gonna happen here so but, uh, yeah just one of those days you know when uh, everything goes wrong or you find more just keep finding stuff but uh, we got it fixed <laughs> 